Regresé a la ciudad de Adirán. Huele bastante. It's so strong here. La Jarana. Don't eat here. You got food poisoning. So moody. Like new fabrics. In my McDonald's now. As I stare into this blue colored pool. The next day. Well, back in Merida, waiting for the bus to get the hell out of here. I'll see you when I get to Cancun. Here we are in Cancun. Behind me is uh, it's the Mall of the Americas. I'm staying at a fiesta inn or whatever. And now I'm gonna walk to the Malacan, which is the beachfront. I wanna see what's there to see. So let's go on the ride. It's gonna journey. Look at this street, there's no crosswalk. <clears throat> and this view is nice. Right here we go for photos. We take the photos. Photos for motos. In fact, let's take a photo right now. I'm here. Oh, come on, car, get out of the way. Look at my shot. Damn cars coming. So no easy way of it. So this way leads to the sea. Hopefully there's a area with a nice view. We'll see when we get there. Look at this tall ass building. It's like still in the construction. And look at the view behind. There's an energy fitness, just like in CDMX, very CDMX. It's just like a jungle here, super dense jungle. So as we come to this end of this journey, uh, there's a lot to think about, a lot to take in. A lot has happened since I came here to Mexico. I started off in the west and then I made my way to the east. And I gotta say the east had its ups and downs. So where I'm at now is not at the hotel zone. I'm a bit away from the hotel zone. And that car is loud. <clears throat> and I, I like it better here. It's more tranquil. It's not so much... Because like the problem with the hotel zone is that it feels like the Las Vegas Strip. You know, it's just like too many things going on. It's too touristy for me. I want to be somewhere where it's more quiet. And you can enjoy the scenery. So that's why I'm in this zone. So I can see the ocean from here. Can't wait till we get there. But yeah, this trip has been interesting, especially the eastern part of Mexico with the Yucatan Peninsula. This whole Yucatan, the whole Yucatan area. So it's split into three. <clears throat> this is Quintana Roo, which is this part with Cancun, Playa del Carmen, Tulum, etc., etc. And then in the middle part is the Yucatan, which has such cities such as Valladolid, Chichen Itza, and Merida, among others. <clears throat> but yeah, I gotta say Merida sucked. Had to go there two times just to make a transfer to get out of there. It was, uh, it's not a city that I would want to live in for long term. I know how a lot of these other people on YouTube recommend it because it's kind of a crappy city to live in. I mean, though, if you live in the center, everything's accessible, except the center is very touristic. You know, there's always a lot of these shops selling uh, chash keys and souvenirs and stuff, and uh, guayabana shirts. Um, but, I mean, it's not a, I don't want to live in a place that's like a tourist zone. 
You know what I mean? It's not, there's no value there for me. It's really, look at this. It's like all desolate and quiet. This is what's up. This is what's up, man. This feels like the Esplanade in New York City. All right, let's, I'm getting excited as we approach, as we get closer to the ocean. <clears throat> well, yeah, Merida is a crappy city. Wouldn't want to live there. That's why I had to get out of there and make my way over to Campeche. Now, Campeche, that's an interesting city. I liked it a lot. It has a uh, history with pirates and piracy. And it's a really charming city. I mean, everything's like within walking to biking distance. You don't really need a car like you do in Merida. In Merida, everything's it's like one big suburb, except the center is like the touristy zone. Kind of like, I don't know how to, what to compare it to. Merida is like a rundown San Francisco, except if San Francisco was like 10 times bigger. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, um, and then Valle de Lid, that was, that's a nice little city right there. Only problem is like they burn trash over there. There in Chichen Itza, they burn trash, and Chichen Itza, you can't really live there. It's, you know, because of the archaeological archaeological site. And there's a town right next to it, which the name of it escapes me right now, but, I mean, it's, it's super small, and I don't know if I want to live there. It's too small, you know. Um, Playa del Carmen was kind of whack. I didn't like it. It was very, everything, the whole, the whole place felt very touristic, and it was hard to find, uh, quality accommodation like everything was high price but the quality wasn't there you know so where's the value in that i'm not i'm not going to be dropping you know a lot of money on accommodation that's you know really shit and i'm not you know i'm not feeling staying in a hostel either <clears throat> so yeah i'm really surprised about cancun it's different here compared to playa de carmen the, the difference is uh, they have act they actually have Uber here, which makes things a lot easier. And there's a quiet part, which is nice. Uh, and then if you want to go to a more touristic part, you can go down to the hotel zone, which from this area is like about 10 minute taxi ride away. So yeah, I wanted to keep heading west more from Campeche, but you know, <clears throat> I have, to go back to the States um, and take care of a few things, but I'll be back, but definitely not to this part again. <laughs> so yeah, let's go take a look at the ocean. I right, you can't fish here, look at that. Those Sega fishing games would be sad. Oh, the water here is doesn't smell at all, which is interesting. <clears throat> Looks a lot cleaner than Campeche. I'm, I'm not sure if I would want to swim on this part. And then hotel zone is all the way over there in the distance. And maybe the water's cleaner on that side. The water doesn't look too bad actually, it's interesting. I'm surprised. I got my fishing hat. <laughs> what in Campeche? Because over there by there, Malagon, which is by the ocean, area by the ocean, there's, a, there's quite a few people who like to fish over there in that dirty ass water <laughs> by the Gulf Sea. It's hard to clip with one hand. Right, there we go, we clipped in. Oh, so, yeah, that wraps up the Eastern Mexico trip yep it's been a it's been an adventure that's for sure wouldn't be an adventure without some things happening good, good and bad so yeah until next time peace